Alright, so I was saying that I'm not gonna say anything, but I think I did something here. I think I, I do need to have some explanation. So this is like four times of the normal speed. As you can see, I'm trying to fix the shape of the mouse and try to figure out how the corner goes because some different people may have different corner directions. And also trying to figure out the, sur the surroundings while I'm at it. Okay, and I'm trying to figure out how the bottom of the face looking like and also uh, the connections between the jaw and the chin. And now I'm moving back to the eye. I did some sculpting uh, at the bottom to figure out the contour around it and also the eyebrow. Okay, and then moving it down to the nose. Now from the side view, I think the nose is not quite what I want. I think I need to make the uh, the nose smaller and sad view wise uh, I think I was tweaking the contour a little bit more and then just a little bit more really smaller fine tune on the structure around the mouse okay again all the brush I'm using is the brush I showed you uh, I, I haven't used any other brush yet those basic brush is enough okay so constantly tweaking cheekbone and the position of the ear and the contour of the ear and pushed in, pushed in a little bit at the bottom uh, didn't do really that much and also uh, figure out the uh, uh, the muscle below the cheekbone okay and then I'm starting to refine the shape of, of the eye I'm thinking it's it might be too big so I made it smaller and then also figure out the connections from the upper eyelid to the uh, eyebrow bone okay and also fine tune the eyebrow a little bit more okay and also the surrounding area like how does the structure goes towards the back right find some of the up and downs sometimes I use clip it up to carve things in okay and you know use move brush sometimes to refine their position okay as you can see I'm not trying to add more detail but rather just refine the detail or the shape I'm already having uh, because you know if those structures are wrong then there's no meaning to advance uh, I'm looking at the bottom. I think the bottom maybe is sticking out too much, so I drag them back and also refined the size of the nose from the front view a little bit more. And I'm trying to think about or imagine the contour of the face and also look at my reference and see if I got the result I want. Okay, some more smoothing. And let's see. Uh, now I'm really start to massage the shape of the nose. I think it's sticking out too much after my tweaking. So I'm, I'm trying to refine the silhouette from the side view of the nose. As you can see, there are a lot of up and down trying to figure out like where should it go. And also the surrounding areas, uh, basically focusing on focusing on the side view a little bit more when I'm doing this. And then, you know, smooth out the faces uh, and dragging the contour a little bit more on the bottom and you know just general fixing and tweaking uh, sometimes you don't really have to tweak a lot just a little bit of tweaking fine tuning can go a long way right so i i will stay here uh for quite a few time uh, just to get the result i i, I need uh, um so this is only like 20 minutes or so tweaking so like still is not a lot of time in the tweaking stage but we can keep tweaking the shape later on uh, now I'm trying to see if I'm getting the correct uh, positioning and thickness of the lips. So I'm repositioning it, rep repositioning it and also try to figure out the correct volume on different parts. A lot of dragging and moving around, right? So my character is more like a fighter, so uh, uh, trying to find out, you know, the, the characteristic down the way, go to some particular angles. Uh, and see if I'm getting uh, the correct characteristic. Okay, so that's everything I did in the uh, in the refining part process of this character. And moving on next, we can keep on going with uh, some more refining of the detail. Okay, see you next time.